What is way more common than people realize? Story 1. Miscarriage. The Mayo Clinic says up to 20% of known pregnancies end in miscarriage, which is already a lot. This is obviously heartbreaking for wanted pregnancies, but can be difficult for unwanted pregnancies too. But in addition to that 20%, many people miscarry before they learn they're pregnant. While not distressing in the same way of knowingly having a miscarriage, it's distressing for many people because of an seeming inability to get pregnant. Story 2. The number of people being left behind by services going digital. They come into the library where I volunteer to find help. Not only do some of them not have email addresses, and most of the ones who do rely on the computer remembering their passwords, a significant number don't even have mobile phones. Story 3. My mom is a therapist, and she's told me that trauma is actually widely misunderstood. For some people, trauma could literally be as simple as, this kid didn't share a toy with them on the playground when they were a kid. Apparently, there's a lot of deep trauma rooted in a lot more adults than you'd realize, and it shapes the way they navigate through the world, and their subconscious more or less causes problems for them later down the line. Not sure if I'm explaining this right as I'm kind of TLDRing what she told me, but I think everyone can benefit from having a therapist, or at the very least someone to talk to about their thoughts and feelings. Story 4. Grown folks failing to look up anything on their own or calling ahead to see if a place is open. The amount of times I got screamed at already this week for why you were closed on Monday. Ma'am, sir, it's a federal national holiday that's been in effect for longer than you and I have been alive. Also, we posted signs stating such on every entrance exit door on the building on Friday morning. They were still up on Tuesday when we returned to work, screaming at a random person because you were either willfully ignorant or didn't think to call ahead and then didn't read the signs plastered all over just makes you look unhinged. Plus, you made a trip today for nothing, because the item you're looking for still isn't in yet. Had you called ahead, you wouldn't have wasted your time, energy, and gas getting here for nothing. Story 5. People lying who have no reason to lie. A lot of people just lie for attention. It's how urban legends and myths spread. My friend had a snake that started starving itself, and it would lay beside her. Turned out it was trying to make room so it could eat her. Your friend lied. My friend worked at a hospital and someone named their daughter Leia pronounced Ladasha. Your friend lied. But people get super mad when you even gently tell them that story isn't true. Edit typo. Edit two. There's always one or two in the replies like, actually, I knew Leah. Final edit. I'm a journalist. I've spent a decade researching these urban legend names. I got $100 for anyone who can provide proof of them. Nobody in a decade has gotten the money. Story six. Celebrities related to other celebrities. Movies, stars being the child of two other movie stars, and just general inside connections being a pretty major factor in who gets to be on screen. If you're wondering how the semi-conscious wooden plank Dakota Johnson got to be the star of the garbage pile movie, Madam Webb, she is the child of Don Johnson and Meg Ryan. Story 7. People not knowing about whatever the current activism is on social media. Big example is the Starbucks slash McDonald's boycott. Everyone online is convinced it's a huge boycott, yet most people in the real world do not know a thing about it. People forget that not everyone is online 24-7, and just because you know about something doesn't mean others do if they're not in that same online circle. Story 8 Childhood Trauma A lot of us hide it, mask it, or pretend we had normal lives. Edit P.S. Please don't include childhood stuff in team-building workplace activities. This stuff is so hard to avoid and uncomfortable. Even something like, a picture of you as a child, or favorite childhood memories and goals. I'd much rather focus on the person I am today than the vulnerable little body I was many years ago. Story 9. I tell a woman I work with that I need to talk to her. I tell her it's important. We set up a meeting. We walk through the door at the same time, and she looks terrified. Just tell me, she says. Did I do something wrong? This person is the perfect employee. She is so good at her job, but also she handles everything with such aplomb. She is exactly the kind of person I want around me. For work, but also for life. No, I say. I wanted to congratulate you on your promotion. It's ourselves. What we most often underestimate is ourselves. Story 10, woman being abusive. I work in family law, and plenty of women are abusers too. It's not just men. It's just still so stigmatized for men to speak up about it. And the problem is, people who are abusers already know how to manipulate others in an attempt to exonerate themselves of any wrongdoing. Most women abusers know if they act helpless and scared of their ex, even when they have zero reasoning as to why, people will feel bad for them and demonize the guy. 
Crocodile tears are a very real thing, and people of all genders and identities will absolutely outright lie about an ex to try to save their own reputation. I've seen it a million times. Obviously, plenty of men abuse too, and it's a very real problem. And plenty of guys will lie about being victims too in an attempt to manipulate others. My whole point is, it doesn't come down to men versus women versus non-cisgender, etc. It comes down if you're narcissistic at your core to abuse in the first place. Story 11. Kinks and Fetishes I think because it's considered taboo to talk about sex and God forbid anything out of the ordinary, a lot of people hide their sexual fantasies. I think anyone has a non-standard turn-on, just not everyone is honest, sometimes even not to yourself. Story 12. Abnormal Amounts of Dissociation Many go their entire lives without ever realizing it's not how most people function. You have to do a lot of research into how and why it's not to fully understand which only makes it worse. If you don't want to find out, I understand. It's not life-threatening or anything insane like that. It's just it answers so many questions we have about a lot that could be wrong with us. Story 13. Long COVID there are now estimates that you may have as much as a 10% chance of long-term complications each time you get infected. This includes children. Some of these complications are immediately debilitating, and some you may not notice until they cause issues down the road. Story 14. Not having any friends when you're older. After you graduate college, especially if you move to a new city for a job, it's hard to maintain friendships. And it's definitely hard to get new friends once you're in the adult world working every day. Many people's only friend is their spouse, and if they aren't married, many people just don't have any friends. Story 15. Corruption and Dishonesty It's not just the politicians. It's your boss, your contractors and inspectors, your neighbor, cashiers, etc. A lot of folks, for good and bad reasons, just do what they need or want to do with no concern for what is right or legal. It's about what they can get away with. I used to think most folks were honest. I have discovered that I was wrong. Story 16. Petrol diesel car fires. They're way, way, way more common than electric car fires 20x according to insurance figures. Fires per 100,000 sold. And even then, most electric car fire incidents isn't caused by and do not involve the battery at all. Note I wrote electric car and not EV. The term EV often include personal mobility devices e-bikes, e-scooters, etc., particularly in the context of fires. Those devices aren't subject to much in the way of regulation, so their battery packs often lack even the most basic safety features like overvoltage protection or a temperature sensor. So it's no surprise that they catch fire from time to time. For example, a while ago there was a stat, something along the lines of last year there were 600 EV fires in New York City. None of them were cars, not one. We've all seen cars on fire next to the road and think nothing of it. It doesn't make the news because it's so common and everyone understands that things go wrong from time to time. Story 17. Mental health issues. I can't speak for the whole world, but here in the U.S., there is such a stigma about mental illness that you really can't tell anyone if, when you're suffering, because it can cost you your job, your relationship, even custody of your children. So we're expected to hold it all in and deal with it ourselves, even when we're not equipped to, despite the fact that most people deal with some form of mental illness at some point in their lives. Story 18. The amount of doctors who loosely tell people, you will likely struggle with having children, so the individual believes they are impotent or barren, and that information is wrong. If no test was done, don't listen to the assumption of Dr. Dumbass. He cannot tell by looking at you that your organs won't procreate unless your organs are not attached to you. Story 19. Agreement to Forer Statements, also known as the Barnum Effect. It's how horoscopes and fortune tellers get you. Most people highly agree with each of the following statements. You have a great need for other people to like and admire you. You have a tendency to be critical of yourself. You have a great deal of unused capacity, which you have not turned to your advantage. While you have some personality weaknesses, you are generally able to compensate for them. Your sexual adjustment has presented problems for you. Disciplined and self-controlled outside, you tend to be worrisome and insecure inside. At times, you have serious doubts as to whether you have made the right decision or done the right thing. You prefer a certain amount of change and variety and become dissatisfied when hemmed in by restrictions and limitations. You pride yourself as an independent thinker and do not accept others' statements without satisfactory proof. You have found it unwise to be too frank in revealing yourself to others. At times you are extroverted, affable, sociable, while at other times you are introverted, wary, reserved. Some of your aspirations tend to be pretty unrealistic. Security is one of your major goals in life. Story 20. 
miscarriages, they happen very, very often. It sucks when it happens to you and not a lot of people speak about it, but most of the time it's just bad luck and does not mean something is wrong with you or you did something bad. It's concerning if it happens multiple times in a row, though. Story 21. Serious injury or deaths at the utilities company. I am not trying to say it is a bloodbath or even being critical. Accidents happen. But when I worked for the local utilities company, there were more serious accidents and deaths of line, wire, and gas works than you hear about on the news. As I said, not terrible, but you would hear about one or two a year when there was more like five. Story 22. Train derailments. When the wreck in East Palestine happened, a whole lot of people acted like this was just unheard of. I work in an industry that's heavily affected by rail, and let me tell you, it's very common. We are impacted by derailments a few times a month at least. Story 23 Bank Robberies Used to work in the city above a bank branch and there were cops there at least once a month. Leo friend of mine say they are very common. Almost every bank does not want you to think your money isn't safe, so they don't want them publicized. Most are small-time not-dudes in Richard Nixon masks firing into the ceiling yelling, Everyone put your hands up! This is a robbery! Story 24 Infidelity. My husband and I are polyamorous and I can't even tell you the amount of people who told us there's no way we could be in love and want to hook up with other people. We're literally the same people, men and women, who would try to hook up with me when they were too drunk to remember. Mind you, they are all people in monogenous relationships. Story 25. Not being assaulted unalived, graped, or victimized in some way. The 24 7 cable news media make it seem like you have a 70% or higher chance of being the victim of violent crime by just stepping outside your home. Most crime rates are relatively low, even in high crime areas. Also, your chances of being victimized by a stranger are much lower than someone you know. That is family member, friend or former friend, roommate, neighbor, co-worker, boss or employee, classmate, Acquaintance, spouse or partner, etc. Grape usually results from a person the victim knows. Cable news outlets tend to focus on violent crime because it sells. And they need to fill all that airtime with something to make money. Story 26. Good people. Seriously, I think over 90% of us are at least decent. People look at politicians and celebrities and other extremely public people and think everyone is like that. For some reason, we haven't figured out how to do government or business without the worst people making it to the top. But I still believe most of us are more good than bad. Even a good portion of Trump voters probably aren't doing it for nefarious reasons. They're just uninformed or ignorant and have bought into the lies. Cynicism is a major problem in the world because it stalls or halts progress. To improve anything, you need to believe it can be improved. Idealism alone won't solve things. You have to act on it and apply it correctly. But cynicism can never solve anything. Story 27. Polyamory. Maybe it's just my friend's group, but at least half of my friends are polyamorous in some way. They are in multiple relationships or else have several people who they are in sexual relationships with. This isn't as rare as people think. Sure, many are more old-fashioned since they cut those off when they start a steady relationship. But swinging, open relationships and much more variants of polyamory are still very common. Story 28. Horrible family dynamics of some kind. Abusive parents or adult children. Trouble conceiving. Inability to properly provide, force to put up for adoption, substance issues, trauma, sadness, racism towards family members, generational dysfunction. A lot of people think that everyone else is living with those TV ideals where things are just perfectly perfect. Most families have drama, secrets, and stressful bullshit going on that they don't openly talk about. Story 29. Too many of us give away private information to businesses that simply ask for it with blank forms on the internet. Plus, I avoid those easy automatic payments right out of my bank account. All of that is their advantage, not mine. Do they guarantee their computer systems are protected from hackers? No? Why do business with them then? Story 30 Hoarding People see the TV show and think those are isolated incidents. But ask your local fire and EMS providers and watch the horror creep across their faces. I've been in houses where you couldn't actually touch the floor. You walked on top of the debris. Houses where the door they use is the only door or window in the entire residence that can be opened. Houses where we had to station firefighters every couple feet along the path through the mess and load the patient onto a mega mover, basically a heavy duty sheet with grab handles on the sides, and pass her person to person out the door. It is way more prevalent than you can even imagine.